The United Nations has called for action to avert what it calls a sand crisis. Demand for sand has surged to 50 billion tons per year amid population growth and urbanization. Now, sand has become a highly important natural resource, but its use is largely ungoverned. It's all around us, on the ground, in the air, and more and more in glass, concrete, and other construction materials. Sand is the world's most exploited natural resource after water. And over the last two decades, global sand consumption has been surging alongside construction to 50 billion tons a year. That's around 17 kilograms per person a day. The UN says we are now consuming sand faster than it can be replaced by geological processes. Exploding demand means more sand will be needed. Meanwhile, the effects of unsustainable sand extraction are already being felt in parts of the world. One major example, according to the UN, is Southeast Asia's longest river, the Mekong. Its delta is sinking due to sand extraction, and that has led to salinization of previously fertile land. The UN warns that sand extraction is also destroying beaches and ecosystems, something that will hurt fishing and tourism. More regulation may be the answer. Sand demand is anticipated to increase, both to fit with population growth, migration from rural to urban areas, and catching up development. And that will only increase demand for this strategic resource. And that requires formalizing its value the way we think about it. Regulating a natural resource that is everywhere. The UN also wants to see a ban on sand extraction on beaches. The question now is whether governments, business, and most of us will heed this warning. All right, for more on the story, I welcome to the studio my colleague uh, Chipanda Chimbelu. Uh, Chipanda, there's so much sand around. In fact, there's gazillion tons of it in the Sahara and other deserts. How did we end up in a sand crisis? Exactly, Chris. That is a question that a lot of people would be asking, obviously. But the thing is that not all sand is the same and doesn't have the same qualities. And the sand in the desert, which there is a lot of, one must say, is actually not so great for construction and commercial use. It tends to be smoother, so that means it can just stick together and you have to add lots and lots of water to get it to uh, be used in construction. And even then, it's not like quite good as the sand you would get at the bottom of a river or the sea. So that's one reason. And of course, the other reason is that most of us thought there's a lot of sand, so we've been using it like water or <laughs> like air, like it's never gonna run out. And this is something, of course, that the UN is warning, uh, the fact that we don't know exactly how much of the industry, how it works, the fragmentation, more information is needed in order to be able to come up with solutions to fix this looming sand crisis, if you like. The UN has recommended more regulations, started, uh, starting with banning the use of beach sand. What else can be done? Well, what they really are asking for is for local stakeholders to be speaking with government and private industry to figure out solutions. Because, of course, one of the major issues is that the sand industry, like I mentioned, is quite fragmented. A lot of people are informal workers, which means they need to be part of the solution. Because, of course, if you ban, for instance, extraction of sand from beaches or river beds in some parts of the world, what it means is that those people don't have jobs. They don't have a source of income. So they need to be incentivized to stop extracting the sand and be given other jobs and other opportunities that would allow them to leave that work for something potentially even more lucrative. And this is what the UN has been calling for. And apart from these incentives, how feasible are these solutions and recommendations? Oh, I would say I fear, um, based on what I've read and what we've seen, that they aren't very feasible because, of course, uh, a good example is the fact that within the last decade, in a three-year period, China had used as much sand as, as had been used in the 20th century for construction by the US. And that was an, a good example. So it's really hard to regulate. We need everyone on board. And that is part of the problem, getting everyone on board. EW's Chipanda Chimbelu, thank you.